and that is it. That is a full time Brighton nil Arsenal three. Very solid performance. It's a very, very solid performance by Arsenal. I think they completely deserve to win this game. They completely deserve to win this game and Brighton just couldn't cope. They just couldn't cope and couldn't compete in this match. 100% deserved win. Man of the match in this game, probably you'd, you'd have to go. I, I'm going to go with Havertz. I'm going to go with Havertz. You guys let me know in the comment sections who was your man of the match. But look, one goal for Havertz and an assist for Trossard to wrap up the win. Huge win. It's a big win now. Let's quickly take a look at the table, how it looks. Okay, so as you can see, as you can see, the table, Arsenal are now up top. They are up top with 71 points. Goal difference should be 51. They scored the third goal. Uh, play 31 games. Tomorrow, we will definitely see what's going to happen between Liverpool and Manchester United. That is a huge showdown, by the way. We are going to be live for that game. But look, if Liverpool don't win tomorrow, Arsenal will stay up top. That's it. And they've extended, uh, not extended, but they created a gap again to one point with Manchester City. So... What they can do is win their game. All they have to do is now win their game, Arsenal. If they win all their games and see if Liverpool or Man City, I mean, not Man City, Liverpool. If Liverpool drop one game, then they could win the league. But look, it's been a solid performance by them. Uh, first half, I thought it was a close game. Yes, they got a soft penalty, I would say. And Saka converted it, but that was really after that. Brighton just completely collapsed, especially the second half, just completely got dismantled, completely got dismantled. Look at the possession, 54%, but Brighton, yes, but that was just a useless possession. I don't remember a single chance that uh, Brighton have created in this one. So, comfortable night, another clean sheet as well. Arsenal now, the team who scored the most in the Premier League and conceded the least in the Premier League, that is some that is some feat to be really. I mean, they they are one of the stronger sides in terms of defending and keeping leads. And that is exactly what they have done. They scored that first goal and then comfortable, comfortable. Second goal came, third goal came. It's just easy, easy. But next game for Arsenal now is going to be on Tuesday against Bayern Munich. It's a huge uh, showdown in the Champions League. Though. That's going to be huge to see how they're going to perform against the bigger sides i mean the bigger teams yes Bayern munich have lost tonight and probably are struggling this season probably they're not going to win the uh, the bundesliga as well but look in the champions league you never know what's going to happen so it's going to be interesting to see well, who who is going to advance arsenal versus Bayern munich that is a huge showdown that's going to be their next game and after that they're going to play away from home against wolves as well Wolves away yet again, similar to Brighton. It's a difficult game. You expect it to be difficult, but with the way Arsenal are going, it looks like no team is going to be stopping them. Really, no team is going to be stopping them. But yeah, guys, thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash a like on the stream. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new to the channel. And drop your man of the match. Let me know who you think is going to win the league. Is it Arsenal? Is it Liverpool? Is it Man City? Make sure you let me know in the comment sections. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.